people. We're gonna watch uh, Structure here play some uh, Konami. No, Gradius no. Gaiden. Have and you ever noticed not... how a save button looks like a floppy disk? That's yeah. the point. It's pretty cool. I really uh, like this opening cutscene. Well, I won't be watching the whole thing in here. You skipped I end up it. skipping it because it'll just look terrible. Um, I think my filtering or so is wrong on the a video or so, but it looks good in game. Like that cutscene. Yeah, you can watch it on YouTube if you want to see it. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll leave a leave link in the description. Who knows? But anyways, yeah, this is my favorite shooter that ever made. Not platypus. Yes, not platypus. Not sadly, cave story. Um, cave story isn't really a shooter in the same way. It's more of a platformer, Metroidvania. Or so, not I Metroid. Don't know. Um, Metroidvania. You, you have you heard of the term? For people nope. who don't know, it's sort of like a. Uh, an adventure sh um, platformer game. I'm not exactly certain how to say it, but you collect things in it and such. It's usually non-linear, but uh, Cave Story is one of the exceptions, really. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad game by any means. No, of course not. In fact, uh, I might like it better than Metroid in many ways. Right. But anyways, this game... Uh, Ice. Gladius <laughs> Gaiden. I actually own a Japanese copy of it uh, for the P um, PS1. That's where it came out. It also came out on the PSP. Um, an American release was made, but it's not as good. You can't play two player in it. Oh, yeah. Explain to the audience your stick it to the man disc. Well, the PS1 has region locking, which is really stupid. It. Um, it's, um, for people who don't know, it's where they, uh, region lock a certain disc so you can only play it on systems from another uh, region that, uh, corresponds to it. Like, region one would be, like, the United States or so. It's with DVDs and so, uh, and games and such. But it's supposed to curb piracy so that you can't buy a chinese copy in the united states and use it in the united states without a chinese dvd player which is still ridiculous because i can just buy a chinese dvd player it doesn't make any sense it just restricts the user really which and yeah, people want more money well i suppose but piracy really it's not that um that big of a deal that you have to do that and it, it restricts your customers as well from buying uh, Japanese products like this so I, re I really don't like it but since the PS1 has it I had to find a workaround because Japanese PS1's are too expensive so I got this thing called a PSX exchange which is a disc that uh, circumvents the uh, copy production. I call it my stick it to the man disc. As you saw, the first level boss was really easy and I was able to kill it pretty quickly. Are you cheating? Um, no, he's just no, not technically. I ended up putting on easiest mode, which is the so easiest you were mode. Cheating. So I, su I suppose you could consider it cheating if you consider that cheating, but really. This game gets very difficult in the future, like, the first few stages and such aren't that bad, but, uh, Trust the boss me. in the fifth stage is pretty nasty, uh, once you get to the boss rush, you're basically done, for most people. Um, it's Are probably you... one of the easier Gradius games, though, honestly. I enjoy this one because it's multiplayer. Yeah. Um, the real thing that sets it out is the level design. Which, as you can see, like, you're going through a cinematary here. Um, the crystal stage is coming up, which is just amazing. Oh, okay. um, we get to the fourth stage in this video. Isn't the boss in this one, um, Grave? Yeah, one of my favorite bosses from any game is uh, this boss, Grave, which... 
you have the choice between two bosses, this giant spear-like spider thing, which is really boring, or Grave, which I won't spoil who, uh, what he does, but he's really creative. I like A really console. easy boss, though. Um, Gun Gungeon, you claim to have played Gradius. Three. Gradius. Gradius. Make sure three. you get the pronunciation right. Oh shush. Um, but if you have, then you would know the name of the uh, ship that you pilot throughout that game. This and don't was, help. Hmm? This was so many months ago, and. It was, and I skipped, and or sorry, and I was playing the NES version. Oh yeah, that one doesn't have a voice, so he probably wouldn't know. But so, the ship's yeah. name is the Vic Viper, and that's the ship I'm using. But another thing interesting about Guy's Gaiden is you can choose between four different ships that have unique weapons. My favorite um, one's the... Uh, Falchion Beta, that's the one Adam likes. The purple ship, which it, has a uh, nice gravity, uh, bombs. gravity bomb. Yeah, that's it. Here comes Grave. I like him because he and pulls he, stuff from around him yeah, and he, adds it onto himself. He as puts armor. Uh, stuff on him. I find that would be a really creative boss type. I'd love to have a whole game where he's the villain. Well. He just gets bigger and bigger. I think that's really an creative. Easy villain. Well, the boss sadly is pretty easy. Like, the only thing you could get caught off guard on is those lasers, or maybe the tentacles. But that's still tough uh. chance. But yeah, here's another very creative stage, crystal stage, and. I'm going to get some lasers for this stage because I mostly use double throughout the game because double was very weak before this game, but it became stronger in this game. So, ends up being the most valuable weapon on most about, of the ships. What about the laser? The laser is pretty good, but you can only shoot it forward, so it's it's useless on the level four boss basically. Um, no Level 3 boss, it's pretty good on, though. Lasers are pretty good in this level, even though they can mess you up sometimes. You'll see why pretty soon. Okay. Now, for people who don't know, why do you get to choose, or how, sorry, how big are the files for Gradius? As in the ISO for like EPSXE or so? Yeah. I don't know, like uh, 200 megabytes or so. I mean, it has to fit on a CD, if, which uh, tops out at 700 megabytes. Depending on what a, uh, era, not era. A this came CD. out 97. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, good point. And for people who don't know, the little blue dots following him are his minions. Options, yeah. And you nope. can see what, here why the lasers are so important in this level. They refract off of the uh, crystals and can go through them. Can't do that with double. But it but, looks real. One thing which I yeah. do have to say about this game is how it looks. It looks beautiful. Yes, this is probably... Um, it's a gem. This and maybe Undertale are my favorite games as far as aesthetics. Not Cave Story? Cave Story is aesthetic. Cave Story is pretty good. good too. It's no slacker. But I mean, Undertale, the runes. Undertale in this game really uh, do well with in uh, incorporating the gameplay with the graphics, like as you can see, these crystals and such. One major problem which I have with this game, yeah, mainly the crystal caverns, is that they're all the ugliest shade of orange you can ever have. <laughs> Great criticism. I know. This game. Very, I, I hope. Eh. Hey. It seems kind of I hope. 
I hope Adam doesn't find any more criticisms for this game, like the plot of this game. Remember, was that, a th was that a threat structure? No. Why do you always say that what I say is a threat? So this uh. This is a very forceful tone of voice. Let's as you can see, this uh, option hunter gets away with a couple of my options. I hate that guy. The Jets He's my arch nemesis. Whoa, that's trippy. It reminds me of um. Azrael. It reminds me of your mom one night. Oh. Yeah, this boss is pretty creative, too. In fact, um, it seems like a really fun boss to play. Yeah, it is. Of course, be pretty easily here, since it's on easiest mode. I probably shouldn't have put it on easiest mode, honestly. Run. But you'll see more later on. I don't what see the appeal. Okay. To be entirely honest, I don't see the graphical appeal of these games. Um, then like you have no design. eyes. Wow. <laughs> because this game looks beautiful. This coming I mean, from look at the. Wow, you really have uh, offended him. Look at the backgrounds in like stage one, stage three, and such. For the most part, it's really inspiring. Pretty... But a lot of this is kind of an acid trip in space. Just look, there's yeah, Easter, that's a good uh, idea. Island heads, Easter Island heads, heads firing glowing orange and blue rings at you. What's wrong with uh, of LSD, man? Yeah, it's a very uh, there's very interesting concepts in these levels and such things that you don't see in most games, like the crystal level or the cemetery level, stuff like that. Again, like Platypus, it has a unique thing in ev every level. Especially yeah, this unlike one. Unlike Halo. Uh, actually, Halo has pretty unique settings most of the time. Tell us who's the, uh, tell us the, uh, unique enemies. Because like uh, I think, uh, I think I can describe them all in one word. Yeah. Uh, okay. Not unique. It gets That's better in three words. with, like, um, Besides, what were they? The uh, true flood. Yeah, yeah, there's the true form flood, which you haven't seen yet because you haven't played three because you're a loser. I'm actually. Do you want me to do? Do you want me to completely? Do you want me to end the Halo series? I'll do it. Because you're a loser. I'll do it. Well, because you're a loser. Adam actually doesn't really like the uh, Halo Two Vista and su port and such. I'll also buy a Halo 2 Xbox and I'll break it. I'll Wait. record it. Wait, why? That would just be a waste of money. It's the well, concept. It gets more views, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's still a big waste of money. Have you ever uh, seen a Psycho Dad video? <laughs> no. As you can see here, I accidentally got a power up there. That's an interesting thing about this game, is that you can um, switch the orientation of the power bar. Like, you can put shield as your first one on the power bar. I can explain the whole concept of Gradius for people who um, don't know, but you have this, uh, these, this bar at the bottom with the six sections, and each of them are different power-ups you can get, and you have to collect these orange things or so in order to... Uh, switch the power bar down and then you activate it when you get on the power up you want but there's many power ups you can get so you can basically deck out your ship pretty um, pretty well and see I got a bad power up again because you don't really want to get a power up when you're on the shield and have all, all the other power ups because then you have to cycle through all over again so you're basically yeah, fighting Easter Island. Again, he, um, that's an interesting boss. It's, it's LSD. Plain weird. So I'm going to focus on the right head first. This boss is really hard uh, normally. Thankfully, I have double and four options, which makes it a, heck of a lot easier. Jesus. Yeah, again, this game gets really hard. Um, these first few videos will... Um, be just uh, relaxing and such but you'll see like stage 5 sort of ramps it up and such but uh, 
Yeah, as you can see, I broke one of those heads. Maybe also, that head had a wife and child. By the way, guys, so get, think guess about what? that. The oh yeah, I paused here for a second. Halo 2, episode 2, has only gotten one view in the past 24 hours. Huh. That's sad. And that one view is for more. Me. I'll probably watch it. Um. Uh, oh, dang it, I still have to dislike that. I'll go back and dislike don't that. Don't dislike it. Well, Come ban on. you from our channel. replaced me for that episode and didn't even consider inviting me. Well, you weren't I there. so very offended. Well, it's not like you really like the Halo 2 Vista series. Anyways, no, like there's my arch nemesis again. To Gungeon. Anyways, that's the end of this video. Since right. uh, the, the stage 5 is where I ended it, so... I guess we'll see you next time with Bye. another Gradius Gaiden video. Or Bye -bye. probably another video. Bye. Goodbye.